with us tonight are the victorious George Rogers Clark Cardinals, Coach Josh Cook, student athletes Tanner Walton, Jerome Morton, and Sam Parrish, who it's his birthday tonight, by the way. So, Coach, we'd like to have you do a few comments. Uh, just, I thought we, uh, after the first quarter, I thought we kind of set in a guard. Uh, our defense was much better in the second and the third. And kind of the difference in the game for us. Uh, first quarter, um, they were able to get some you know, easier buckets. We got lazy a couple times. I think a lot of that is, is the nerves part where you know we're playing full court D and after the first three minutes, that second wing kind of gets in. Uh, but the second and third, I thought our, our depth kind of paid off for our guys and a much better job defensively, so, which led to transition buckets for us. Question. Coach, 13-12 there toward the end of the first. Next thing you know, it's 28-14. Just speak to your guys' like spurt ability. What maybe kind of sets that off, whether it be a dunk and trend, Jerome hit the three. You know, just kind of speak to how that kind of takes off. Well, it's really about doing the jobs. Uh, you know, one of the guys that helped spark it was when uh, Rayshon came in. And, you know, he's a shooter. That's what he does. That's what we want him to do. Um, and we, we don't question his shots. So when he hits shots, it kind of opens things up. Um, when Jerome gets going, you know, it feeds everybody else. Sam can get going. We have several guys that can, you know, that can make plays and, and it really puts points on the board in a hurry. So, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a credit to our guys being selfish. It's not easy uh, to always put the team first and, and the way that all the attention goes and things like that as far as individual stats. But in the end, I think they understand that if you put the team first and you play together, that you'll be rewarded. Up front, Jerome is feeling any different this year coming in? A big target on your backs, but just kind of you know having the experience as it compared to last year, Thomas. Uh, no, we really don't feel different. But uh, we just come in here and hoping for well, I don't know, like one of better outcomes than last year. as easy as people would think uh, you know they they are who they are I don't try to change personalities I want them to be themselves um, but we also try to manage and try to help them grow and understand and they have their moments they're with their kids um, as you interview them you'll see them they're still kids and so you know they're going to have great moments where they're playing great and they're going to have moments when they struggle and so our job is to stay at home and pick them up and, and teach them to keep playing together but you know for me it's just finding the flow and the rhythm uh, when we're making shots, you know, the thing we said in the first half, like, you guys got to take three-point shots. You got to take shots. You're passing up shots and dribbling too much. And, you know, but when you have playmakers, that's the that's kind of the way the game is played nowadays. Guys, they see guys on TV and want to over dribble. But, you know, we want our guys to just put your head down and get north and be ready to make a play. And if somebody helps, make the extra pass and take shots and score. Sam, you made a few threes there in a row uh, in the second half there. You were clapping your hands. Just how much fun were you and the rest of the guys having out there just rolling? Oh, it was really exciting. You know, my teammates just find me when I'm open. You know, I'm just playing defense. That's my feel to my fire. You know, just getting everybody going. I feel like once I'm playing hard on defense, it makes everybody want to play defense and play even harder. How much fun are you guys having out there? Oh, we're having a lot of fun, as you can tell. I mean, you were joking there in the pregame a little, or uh, right there before this started. But, but people, some of the stuff people say about you guys are a lot of criticism. Just how do you process the, through that and kind of deflect that and try to keep distractions out? Uh, I don't think we really care what anybody says. We got one mission, one goal, and that's to win the state championship. Coach Cook's been saying that since the start of the season, and that's our plan. Uh, this one's for Tanner. Tanner, you look like you were uh, fighting pretty hard for the rebounds there under the basket. Um, did you speak to that at all? Um, uh, I was just trying to do my job. Trent's down there blocking shots and contesting shots. So I was just trying to go out and get as many rebounds as I could. Just to add to the defense, Trent's presence down low he might not have showed up in the blocks category, but just how many shots he altered. I mean, just speak how beneficial that is, how that leads you out on breaks and stuff. I mean, it's phenomenal, and you know that's kind of the you know, and honestly, a lot of times people ask, what's the what's the one guy that can separate us? A lot of times, it's when Trent's got a motor, Trent changes the game completely. 
uh, whether or not it's contested shots around the floor, you know, early on in the game, he steps out and hits a three. I mean, he can shoot, he's really skilled. Um, you know, part of our defensive strategy is do your job, and it's got to be pretty uh, unselfish of what we want to do. Uh, Jerome knows if he's he's got a certain position, he's got to guard certain types of personnel. Um, Aiden, if he's there, we're chasing. Aiden's chasing somebody. Sam's guarding the team's point guard. Tanner, it's usually being an IQ guy. And then, you know, Trent does his thing blocking shots, and we want to give Trent the freedom to do that because he can change the game completely. Uh, but on the flip side, Tanner said that means we got to go rebound for it. But uh, Trent's a difference maker. I, I also think he's one of the more underrated players in the state, and uh, you're going to see in the next, you know, he's young, guys. I mean, he's young He's young in the mind. He's going to get better in the next three or four years. He can turn out to be a you know, very special player. Josh, you brought up a few teams here now, a few different schools. How, from kind of going back to maybe the first time you were here to now, what do you think you've learned just as a coach going through this and trying to keep guys all on the same page? Because a lot of those teams have had, you know, been good enough to maybe win. I think I do a better job of just being more honest. Honestly, like, you know, the situation is what it is. Uh, you know, when you, I guess when 2016, six years ago, we came out with Mercer County, we played. Um, you know, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of talk with that stuff. And what I've kind of learned is just kind of accept things for what they are and really just talk about it with your team. And you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having a big vision with it. Doesn't mean, you know, we know each game matters, each game you got to play. But I think we've just made a choice that, hey, to be special and, and block out the noise. And, you know, there's criticism and there's all kinds of things. But let's just be honest about it. Let's say this is what you're hearing. Put together, tune it out, understand that's what people are going to say or that's what they're going to question. And let's just be honest about our goal. If you want to play for a state championship, you better be talking about it. And if you're not talking, it's not like you're going to look into it. And, you know, and from years past, I think I've always kind of maybe sometimes coaches will talk like we want to get out one game at a time. That's great. And I get that. It is one game at a time. But there has to be a big vision of what you truly want. If the kids are not dreaming about it, you're not going to get it. So I've just tried to make sure I've done a good job of making these guys believe and see a vision that, you know, we can we can do something really special and, and, and win a big picture. Tanner, what do you feel like you guys did so well tonight? What about tonight's performance makes you think that you guys can make this run here this weekend and make it happen? I would say it starts with our defense. I think uh, constantly getting defensive stops, which leads to uh, fast breaks and layups and dunks and threes. I think that uh, is what the difference maker between us and other teams is that we we just uh, we turn our defense into offense. How are you guys playing? Um, I just think we're all we all have the same mindset. We all want to win, so we're just that's just what we're thinking. Final questions, coach, players. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.